Hi, fourth and fifth grade. Welcome to art. We're doing a portrait today. And I don't know if you guys know uh, the difference between a portrait and a profile. Portrait, profile. But we are gonna kind of draw in between a portrait and a profile today. So do you see this picture right here? Their face is not looking straight on at the camera. And neither is this one. It's not looking straight on at their artist. It's sort of not all the way the side of the face, but just kind of like this, right? So we're gonna learn how to draw a portrait today, but we're gonna kind of do it with our face just turned just ever so slightly, okay? And usually a portrait is from the shoulders up, but you can also draw uh, a full body portrait if you're on a horse, woo, like the one in the slide, you know, as long as it's showing expression, because that's what a portrait is. And Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, and she had a very somber portrait, if you remember what she looked like. So that's kind of what we're going to do today, but we're going to turn ours into a little bit of a, caricat a caricature, which is a cartoon, and have a little fun with it. Okay, so I want you guys to draw along with me. Please don't take this too seriously. And just practice, practice, practice. Follow along with me the first time and kind of try not to erase a lot and just kind of stay with me. And then you can go back when you color in it with the dark colored pencil and fix it and then erase the pencil lines you don't want. But just kind of stay with me while we're drawing so you don't get too far behind or lost or frustrated. And don't try to do a lot of erasing. And we're gonna try to draw a silly little caricature and uh, then after we finish, you'll take a black Sharpie or a dark colored pencil and you'll outline it first and then you'll color it with something. Um, if you don't outline it before you color it, then you lose the drawing. So you will need to outline it with something dark before you put the color on it, okay? So we're gonna get to that in the end and we'll start drawing now, all right? Okay, if you're drawing a portrait, um, normally it's just the face and the shoulders, and you gotta draw it pretty big in order to kind of see the features on the face. But we're gonna kind of be kind of silly and draw a caricature that's got a face and a body. So I want you to go kind of towards the top of your paper, and I want you to give me, normally I have you guys draw a letter U, cause that's facing straight on. You're just gonna take your letter U and kind of do it at a little bit of an angle. But I want you to not do it real small like this because otherwise you're not gonna be able to put any details on it. So it needs to be kind of big. It needs to be like this, kind of big, okay? So you're gonna take your letter U and do it kind of big because your body is gonna be small, but your head needs to be kind of big. Does everybody understand that? Okay, so don't give me one of these. Give me one of these, okay? Because we want to be able to have kind of a decent looking head, all right? Okay, first we're gonna do some eyes. Your eyes are kind of like a football. You know how we always talk about that? So you gotta have a frowny face, a smiley face, and then another frowny face, the iris and the pupil, okay? So it's the football, the eyelid, the iris and the pupil, and it's real easy to do. You gotta figure out where your forehead is, your nose is, your mouth is, and your chin is, so that you have your face in the right place, okay? So I'm gonna come up here and try to figure out where my eyes are going, and I'm gonna kind of put them at a tiny bit of an angle, you see that? And that'll kind of represent me looking to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna do a frowny face, a frowny face. And I'm gonna make sure I still have forehead, I got room for my nose, mouth, and chin. Okay, can y'all do that? Then you're gonna come back and you're gonna do a smiley face, a smiley face. Now you got a football, and that's kind of what an eye is. It's a frowny face, a smiley face, and it's the shape of a football, okay? Then you're gonna do your nose. And you can look at the handouts that I sent you on all different kinds of noses, but the easiest way to do a nose is kind of doing the letter L and just taking the point off of it, okay? So you're gonna take your letter L and you're gonna round off that pointy edge and angle it a little bit. So you're gonna just kind of do it like at an angle. So I'm gonna kind of put my face at a little bit of an angle. I mean my nose at a little bit of an angle. And then I'm gonna just curve it around. 
So it's kind of like almost like a letter U, but smushed out. So if you want to do it in one motion, you kind of do it like that. And then I like to put a little curl at the back and sometimes at the front, and that makes it a little more interesting, my nose. But if you just want to do the letter L, keep it simple, that's what you can do, okay? Then you're going to take the letter M and you're going to smash that letter M down to where you got a smooshed letter M. You see that? And you're just going to take your letter M and you're going to put it on there. And you don't want to do it real big because otherwise you're going to have big old lips like this and that looks funny on your mouth. Okay? So you want to kind of do it the size of your eyes. You know what I mean? Don't do it real big. Then I'm just going to do a smiley face in a straight line. It's so easy to do mouths because you can kind of do a smiley face with your smashed M and the letter U. You can do a kissy mouth. You can do your smashed letter M and just two lines. One, two. You got a mouth. So mouths are kind of easy to draw. I'm just showing you to do the smashed letter M a smiley face and a line that goes across. But any of these guys will work for your mouth. So look at the handout and play with it and come up with the mouth, okay? Then you're going to finish your eyes, if you haven't already, and put your pupil in there, okay? And you got a face, boom. All right, now you gotta think about your hairline, okay? Do you have bangs? Do you have a part? What do you have? So let's find out. Let's. I've got a part. So I'm gonna do my part here and here and connect it to the top of my face. And then I'm gonna round off my, my head, okay? If you're a guy, you're gonna come over here and put your ears right on the side of your eyes, all right? And then you just bring your hairline up somewhere from your ears like that and you got that going on, okay? The girls, we're gonna to get to your hair in a minute because I want you to put your shoulders on first. So you're gonna put your shoulders on and a round neck or a V neck, okay? You're gonna do something like that, okay? Then I want you guys to come over here to the side and I want you to do the letter L, the letter L backwards, okay? That's kinda, kinda represent your arms, all right? So you're gonna come over here on this side and you're gonna do that letter L and double it. Then you're gonna come over here and do a double it going this way. All right, and then I'm gonna skip over here and it's gonna make it look like, it's gonna make it look like I'm doing this. Okay, so let's do it again. You're gonna do a letter L over here and a backwards le letter L over here, all right? Then you're gonna come in and do another one and another one, all right? But I'm gonna angle them up. I'm gonna angle my letter L just a little bit here like this. You see that? So that when I'm coming back, I'm gonna take this one all the way across to the other arm. Do y'all see how I did that? Let's do it again, because this is tricky. So I'm gonna have the letter L, but I'm gonna go up, the letter backwards letter L, and I'm gonna go up, okay? I'm gonna come in here and represent the other part of my arm and go all the way over. Then I'm gonna come down and go all the way over. But at this time I gotta go underneath this arm so that it looks like I got one arm crossed over the other. You see that? And then I'm gonna put some shoulders on me and boom, you got the top of your body, okay? Then you're gonna come down here and finish your shirt, and then you gotta do some funny legs. You ready? So for this one, we're just gonna go straight down, and this one, we're gonna kinda of bend our knee a little bit. You see that? So this foot is gonna come out like this, and this foot is just gonna kinda of come around the bottom like that, all right? Then you gotta find the center of your legs and you're gonna attach that and then you're gonna attach that and boom, you can put on some tennis shoes and you got a funny little caricature, all right? For my girls, if you've got long hair, you're just gonna come down here and give yourself some long hair and then just a few lines back there, all right? 
If you've got a ponytail, then maybe you're gonna come back and give yourself a ponytail. So you're gonna come to the back of your head, right? And just bring it back up like that so it looks like it's behind your head. I'm gonna do it a little bit more like that. But again, just a couple of lines and boom, you got hair, okay? If you have short hair, then, then you're gonna take it and you're just gonna kind of do like this thing if you have short hair, all right? And you're gonna kind of put a few lines in there. Pretty easy, right? So what I want you guys to do is just play with it. And um, I want you to take a black marker or a dark uh, black colored pencil and outline it real well first. Then go back and erase all the pencil lines lightly. If you're using a marker, if you're not, you kind of got to get it right before you outline it with the colored pencil. Um, and then color it. And boom, you've got a cute little caricature of yourself. Isn't that fun? All right, I sure miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you in art. We're going to paint and do a lot of fun things, but right now we're limited on supplies at home, so I can't do a lot of painting and stuff like that with you guys, but we will as soon as you guys get back. So have fun with this drawing, and if anybody wants to email it to me so I can see it, I would love it. Can't wait to see you guys in art. Bye.